lovely weather. A warm welcome to Selhurst Park here in London. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position, and I'm joined for analysis by Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Crystal Palace up against Arsenal. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface, and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. And here's the Palace 11. Well, in this shape, if they're wide players stay high up the pitch and get enough for the ball, it's a very attacking lineup. But if they drop too deep, they will then leave the centre forward isolated and it could be difficult for them. And this is the Arsenal starting 11. Aaron Ramsdale as the goalkeeper. Martin Odegaard plays alongside Thomas Partey in the centre of midfield. And the main striker here is Edward Nketiah. Thank you, Selhurst Park. Enjoy the game. And the contest begins. Anderson. Joel Ward. Jairo Riedewald. Mark Guehi. Mitchell. Guehi. Here's Anderson, Joel Ward, Jairo Riedewald, Mark Guehi. On to Anderson. You know, it's always a tantalising prospect watching Martin Odegaard close up. Stuart, what do you think we might see from him? I would describe him as majestic when he's playing at his best. He glides past defenders, he's got that ability to run with the ball into open space, he can pick out a pass, he can wriggle out of tight situations. He's the most creative player on the field today. Are you? And after that fantastic effort, it's gone out for a throw-in. William Saliba, Ben White, Parte. Now with Tierney, Gabriel, and here's Saliba, Ben White, William Saliba. It's with Gabriel. At times they make passing look easy. William Saliba. It's with Gabriel. Jorginho. Ben White. And here's Saliba. Kieran Tierney. Martinelli. And Ketia has it. Martinelli. Giving it a try. Every goalkeeper would expect to catch that one. Tyrick Mitchell. Guehi. A reminder the food stands will be open. Ward now. If you'd like to get yourself some post match snacks. Cairo Riedewald. Tyrick Mitchell. Guehi. Joel Ward. He's given it away. And they continue to advance. And a lot of options here. Oh, 
And with that, the attack fizzles out. Odson Edouard. Ezzy. Ward. And a good looking ball. He's got to clatter it away. Nketia. He could pick out a teammate. Needs to clear it away. Well, nothing comes of it. Tierney. Well blocked, but he must clear it away. Well, not hard to read that pass. He continues his run. Will he play it in? And the cross comes to nothing in the end. Tierney. Well, let's see about the cross. But it wasn't quite as good as it looked when it was played over. Well, as the stats show us, this has been a really even game so far. There just hasn't been enough guile or invention in the top third of the field from either team, which needs to change at some point. Yes, a stalemate so far. Will that situation change? Nketiah. Will he finish? And foiled by the post. Schloop. Must take the lead here. Oh, a great chance it was. Goalkeeper has it. And it will be an Arsenal free kick. Saka. And here's Saliba. Jorginho. Well, possibilities inside the box oh fantastic effort he made great contact but the keeper more than equal to it it will be Arsenal's corner as they try to nudge in front in this game And there's the delivery. Needs to clear it. But it did look dangerous for a moment, but the keeper has it now. And so the first half has come to an end here at Selhurst Park. Well, a slightly underwhelming performance from Bukayo Saka, if we're being 100% honest. Well, he's been very quiet so far. He just hasn't got away from his marker. He needs to find a spark from somewhere and start testing this goalkeeper. And this confrontation is underway. Nketiah. Will he finish? And foiled by the post. possibilities inside the box oh fantastic effort he made great contact but the keeper more than equal to it
Away they go again. Second half is underway here. Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. Great strong tackle, throw in forthcoming. Options in the middle. And he knows he must thump it away. Jeffrey Schlupp. Crossing into the middle. Oh, super header, but the goalkeeper was up to the task. Well, they haven't created too much lately, but the fans know this is a chance to take the lead here. So the corner played into the box. Can they put it away? And holding on to it at the second time of asking. Nketiah. Well, the stats don't lie. Arsenal have had most of the possession, but it's been a frustrating performance from them so far. They just haven't had enough guile in the final third. It's all been a bit too predictable, which has to change if they want to win this one. And a super header. It looked as though it might be going in. Well, very effective play in possession. And players waiting in the centre. That's an effective cross aimed at the back post. Might still be able to do a bit of damage. And the upshot of that is offside. Well, he needed to look elsewhere because the flag was always going to go up. It is a decent looking attack here. Are you? Can he finish here? Oh, his eyes lit up, thinking it was about to be the opener. Well, just the lack of composure. He should score there. Chance to play it in. And he cuts inside. And still danger here. And he read it superbly. Tierney. And a good looking ball. And it came to nothing in the end. Loop. Cross fired over. And he needed a bit more downward direction on the header. They decided that now is the time to go to the bench.
substitution for Crystal Palace. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. Just 20 minutes remaining now. And Arsenal now find themselves in potentially a dangerous position. Can they take the lead here? What a big chance that was. Keeper has the ball. An attack full of promise. Sheikh Ducouré. Klein. Will he play it in? He knows he's got to react. Well, threat averted. Schloop. In search of space. And the goalkeeper taking charge. And still on the lookout for the goal that could be so important at this juncture. And no nonsense defensive clearance. Unable to get himself back onside here. Well, he was always going to be offside. That was the wrong option. Substitution for Arsenal. Well, they've decided to make a change. Number 14, Andy Nketiah. To be replaced by number 19, Leandro Trossard. Ten minutes to go. And that's great work to make sure it didn't go over the line. It is now with Jorginho. Putting his body on the line. A perfectly taken corner could make all the difference in this game. This one for Arsenal. Playing it in. And a free kick awarded by the referee. Well, he's got to be disappointed with that pass. And given the situation, a goal at this... And a goal! This is why we adore this game. Late drama, and now they're in front. Well, as you can see, the weight of the through ball is key to this goal. And the finish is brilliantly taken, just guided beyond the goalkeeper. What a good goal that is. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? William Saliba. Saka. They have to show a commitment to attack Arsenal in these trying circumstances. 
and crossed in there and opting for power over placement but not the desired result to get a body in the way and flag raised offside well that was always going to be offside he just needed to hold on to the ball that little bit longer <laughs> Cairo Riedewald Mitchell, Ducouré, can he put it away, and able to close down the shot, Trossard, time and the scoreline against Arsenal, but still they're in this, so the final whistle now, and disappointment for Arsenal you've got to say, a defeat for them, your assessment? Yes, Derek, it was a tight game between two very good sides, but they lost concentration late on, and it's cost them dearly. They'll need to get over that quickly. Well, you know, when our colleagues in the newspapers come out with their grades for this match, he's going to get very high marks. Well, he was the best player on the pitch today. His movement, skill and work rate were excellent. And, of course, what a time to come up with a goal. And the match begins. Nketia. Will he finish? And foiled by the post. No possibilities inside the box. Oh, fantastic effort. He made great contact, but the keeper more than equal to it. into the middle oh super header but the goalkeeper was up to the task well they haven't created too much lately but the fans know this are you oh his eyes lit up thinking it was about to be the opener well just the lack of composure he should score there Cross fired over. And he needed a bit more downward direction on the header. Putting his body on the line. A perfectly taken corner could make all the difference in this. And given the situation, a goal at this. And a goal! This is why we adore this game. Late drama, and now they're in front. And opting for power over placement, but not the desired result. 